Good afternoon. This is Brian Shannon from Alpha Trends Blogspot. It's Tuesday, September 26, 2006. And there on the screen is the S&P 500, which is a, a new year high here and a new multi-year high, actually. When you look at the uh, weekly time frame like I have on the screen right now, you can see we took out the highs from back in April. And now the S&P 500 has not been trading this high since uh, back in early 2001. So this uh, bull market marches forward and anyone that's getting in its way is uh, getting run over here and uh, experiencing a big squeeze for the shorts. So on the daily time frame at 133.55 where we are right now, we've officially met our upward price target uh, that we're looking for based on the inverted head and shoulders way back here. And as I've been stating for the last couple of weeks, I'm still bullish here, but uh, cautiously bullish just because of the extent of the rally that we've had. Now, just because the market's extended doesn't mean it can't keep going higher, and that's exactly what we have in place right now. The market acts very good. It does what it's supposed to do. It does what a bull market is supposed to do. Yeah, uh, you know, A couple of days ago, I got sidetracked a little bit by the mid-cap stocks, thinking that they, uh, they might be the uh, catalyst for a little bit of a pullback here. But as I said, it was a, a sidetracked. Um, you know, the, the mid-cap stocks didn't break down, but they're still, you know, underperforming relative to the S&P 500. So we still have to keep one eye on that, but that's not a reason to, you know, not participate on upside on the uh, many stocks that are moving forward. And that's the key. You know, I say it's a stock picker's environment, but realistically, I think it's always a stock picker's environment, regardless of what you're doing. You can't just go out there and buy any stock. There's still stocks that are going uh, up no matter what the market conditions are and there's always stocks that are going down it's our job to focus on risk management and probabilities and find the high probability candidates within a favorable trend favorable meaning trading within the direction of the primary trend if it's in a downtrend we're going to short them and if it's an uptrend we're going to go long uh, and then managing risk accordingly the nasdaq 100 you can see also hit a new high not for the year but uh, from this rally that we've seen and it puts us firmly into an area where you know where we may see the market hold on up here this could be setting up uh, a, a further extension of this rally so uh, I've been cautious in here I continue to remain uh, cautious but the market is a little bit stronger than I've been expecting and we have to respect what the market's telling us and put aside things such as prior resistance you know becoming support and then resistance again as I said before this level this 40 and a half level was only a potential level of resistance and I said we could only tell in the in the in hindsight whether it did become resistance now it's looking like no the market you know has other plans it wants to keep going higher and although you would expect to find selling here we haven't found it. So the path of least resistance continues to be higher for the NASDAQ, for the S&P 500. And that's what we have to focus on, that in picking the individual stocks so that we can, you know, benefit from these rallies. The S&P, I'm sorry, the uh, semiconductors weren't able to make a new high, but they did add to their gains in here. And we've got to be a little bit more cautious in this group as well. Um, you know, I don't want to sound like the bear here because I'm not, but I would expect that, you know, we need to get above this 3450 um, before I can really see that this, you know, this pattern of lower highs and lower lows has really been interrupted. So uh, we have to be a little bit suspicious of the semiconductors. But again, the bigger picture indices are telling us more bullish uh, picture than you know some of these smaller groups like the semiconductors or the mid caps so that's what we have to focus on is the bigger picture and more importantly the individual stocks yesterday we were looking at uh, silicon motion technology simo and we had gotten involved on the long side above that five day moving average i had suggested raising your stop today to uh 58 cents 16 dollars and 58 cents so you should have been stopped out of that with a small gain we were also looking at uh, angn and uh, I typed in that wrong. But Angion, what we were looking for here was a pullback below $7 a share or down toward $7 a share, rather. We did get that here this morning. And then I wanted to buy it above that 717. As I told you, I had been long some. And I did sell some today as well because the stock in the short term made it up to, let's take a look here. Where are my uh, 
pivot lines. The, uh, let's show pivot lines. But the stock had made it up to R2 right here, so I prudently sold some into that. I did buy more of it as it was rallying here this morning, and then I sold into some of it. I've still got some of the position, and uh, I think that, that now your stop ought to go just below the $7 level. So you should be in at about $7.20 with a stop just under $7 a share in Angio. And it's interesting to see, too, that that uh, R2 was also found near the what's now a declining 10-day moving average. So... Uh, still like the stock, though, and, and think it could continue higher from here. BLUD, which is Immucor. Immucor, the play in here was I'd wanted to see a pullback to 22.15, and you can see here we never got that pullback to 22.15 in the stock. Uh, we then wanted to buy strength above 22.40, but that obviously, again, never occurred, so there was no play in BLUD today. Uh, next stock we were looking at alongside was diode, symbol D-I-O-D. And then there I was looking for a pullback to 43.95 and then to buy strength. So here's our pullback to 43.95. Didn't come till later on uh, this afternoon, uh, about uh, uh, 1, 1 o'clock Eastern, 115 or so. But then to buy it above 44.20. So the purchase right here should have occurred at that point at about 44.20. And I had suggested your stop ought to go at 43.74. Well, now I'm going to say that your stop ought to be raised to just under this level. Uh, let's put our stop at 43.85 right now. That low is 43.87. And you should be in at 44.20. So now your theoretical risk is about 35 cents, unless, of course, something uh, happens to the stock and it gaps lower or whatever. But the point is the stock remains in a nice uptrend. It looks good. It's trading near these all-time highs and uh, looks like it ought to continue to move higher from this level. Real Network, symbol RNWK. Here's another stock. I was looking for a pullback initially down towards 1065. We got that. Then wanted to buy it above 1080. And, you know, now I'm looking at saying, well, probably we should have bought it above yesterday's high. But um, I said above 1080, then with a stop at 1058, this low in here was 1061. So you should still be in the stock, uh, you know, based on purchasing it right here. Let's take a look at the two-minute time frame so we can see it a little bit more clearly. Um, the pullback, again, was to 1065, and then we were going to buy it on strength above $10.80. And the stock, ha you know, it hasn't cost us anything, but this low is 10.61. So we're going to keep our stop exactly where I said, which was $10.58 right here at this level. No reason to raise it at this point yet because the stock hasn't really done anything. So you should be in the stock at about 10.80. Stop st still at 10.58. And I, I still think, you know, the stock acts real strong here. So, uh, or it looks like it's getting ready to break out. Um, Teva Pharmaceutical, T-E-V-A. This stock, what we were looking for was a short sale opportunity. Uh, we were looking first for a rally up to $33.90. You can see that we got that rally to $33.90, and then we were going to sell the stock short um, below $33.60. So that $33.60 sell came over here at this point, and then I had suggested that you put a stop in at $33.98. So I think that you still want to keep your stop at 33.98. You ought to be short at about 33.60 uh, with the stop at 33.98. So that remains in open position as well. Uh, lastly, we had Zoran, symbol Z-R-A-N. And Zoran, what I had suggested was that the stock looked like it had a, a little bit of a rally yesterday. I wanted to sell the stock short below $16 a share. We had a chance to do that early. It showed a little bit of strength. However, it did not come back up above our stop. Our stop was, this high was 1620. Our stop was above here at 1627. Uh, so right now, I think that you, you ought to be thinking about protecting your profits in this stock and maybe putting your stop at about $15.80 uh, to lock in a gain of about 20 cents if you do get stopped out. That'll do it for now. I'll be back with another video this evening with ideas for trading on Wednesday. Thanks for your time.